Amazon Detective is a new service that helps you conduct faster and more efficient security investigations. In this video, I will give you a quick background and demonstration of Detective. When you turn on Detective, we automatically bring in your logs without requiring any configuration to be done. We then run the logs through a set of automated analyses, store this information for a year, and provide you with an easy to use visual interface to interact with this analysis. We currently bring in and analyze CloudTrail management events, VPC network traffic, and guard duty findings. You do not have to have CloudTrail or VPC flow logging enabled on your accounts in order for Detective to automatically bring in and analyze this data. Detective has three key use cases. The first use case is to help you triage your security findings and alerts. So let us say you have a guard duty finding and want to understand whether, whether it is something you should be concerned about. Detective can help you answer that question. If the finding is of concern, your finding triage process will become an incident investigation. Since Detective allows you to quickly view analyses and summaries going back up to a year, it can now help you answer questions like how long has the security issue been going on for, or how many resources have been affected. And the third use case we see customers using Detective for is threat hunting. This is where you may have an indicator like an IP address or a user agent, and you can use Detective to quickly assess what interactions those indicators may have had with your environment. This can be very helpful. Detective is a multi-account service. When you enable Detective using a designated master account, a security behavior graph is created to hold the log summaries and analytics for all of your accounts. The master account can then invite member accounts and once they accept their invitations, the CloudTrail management events, VPC network traffic, and guard duty findings for all of these accounts flow into the same security behavior graph that was created for the master. The master account can then interact with the security behavior graph using the detective console. Many customers access the detective console directly to get information on resources like users, roles, accounts, and EC2 instances, and to understand their security incidents and interactions with each other and with IP addresses and user agents. Other customers access Detective from either Amazon Guard Duty or AWS Security Hub in order to understand the details of a finding that they're looking at and to visualize the resources the finding might be associated with. Various third-party partners have integrated their service consoles with Detective as well, and some customers access Detective from these services. And lastly, some customers have added deep links to Detective profile pages from their runbooks so that if one of their analysts is trying to understand an IP address, for instance, they could just click the link in the runbook and see all the interactions that IP has had with various resources using the Detective console. You can enable Detective using the AWS console, the Detective API, or using the multi-account enablement scripts that we provide. We recommend that you align the Detective master account with the master account in Guard Duty and Security Hub so that you can easily navigate from those consoles to the Detective console. We also recommend that you add all your accounts to Detective soon after enabling the service so that you can evaluate Detective's functionality for each account. Each account receives a free 30-day trial the first time they're added as a Detective member in a region. And we do provide a usage page that you can use to get an estimate of the costs for, e for all of your accounts. Detective has a tiered pricing model that is based upon the volume of data that the service ingests. The summaries and analytics of the ingested data are kept for one year. Based upon the prices that you're seeing here, Detective's cost for ingesting two terabytes of data per month is $3,000 for the month. This is the Amazon Detective console. I'm accessing it with my master account and also have data being ingested for four of my other accounts. The settings section has links to manage my accounts, others to see settings and preferences, as well as a link to the usage page that indicates how much data Detective has ingested for each account, along with the projected 30-day estimate of cost. Detective's search interface is a common starting point for many customers. Detective collects data from CloudTrail management events, VPC flow traffic, and guard duty to build detailed profile pages with summaries and analytics for many resources and stores this information for 12 months. Let's do a quick search for the target role AWS role. Detective found this in one of the accounts, and let's take a quick look to understand how this role is being used. This is Detective's profile page for the target role we just searched for. Detective has a similar profile page for every resource. Let's update the scope time to display 30 days of data. 
you can see that Detective brings back the data very quickly. Profile pages in Detective are divided into multiple tabs. The Overview tab has high-level details. The New Behavior tab highlights how behavior has changed for the resource in the scope time when compared to prior time periods. And the Resource Interaction tab shows how this resource has interacted with other resources in your environment. The first panel here helps us understand who created the role and when. The Findings panel shows us all the findings that are associated with this resource during the scope time window. And then the overall API call volume panel shows us all the successful and failed API calls that have been made using this role. In this case, there were no failed API calls performed from this role. The black rectangle represents a scope time window and these calls right outside the window look interesting. We can click on them to drill down and understand which IP addresses invoke these calls, expand that to understand the actual API calls, and then also see the ACIDs that were utilized to make those calls. The API drill down feature is available on various profile pages, including those for users, roles, role sessions, and accounts. I also want to show you the resource interaction tab. The role resource interaction tab can be very useful in understanding who has used a role and in attributing activities to a specific role, user, or instance. In this first panel, Detective lists all the users, EC2 instances, and other roles that have assumed this role. In this case, no federated users or EC2 instances have assumed this role. If they had, we would see them listed here. The information displayed here can be very useful in understanding role assumption behavior, including cross-account role assumptions. In the second panel, I can see the roles that have been assumed by the target role. Basically, in this case, a security principal first assumed the target role and then also assumed the stepping stone role. This type of sequential role assumption activity is called role chaining, and Detective can help you understand the sequence of assumptions and the activities performed. The third panel lists all the role sessions for the role assumptions listed in the previous two panels. So if we wanted to understand the API activity of Sam Sepiol when he assumed the target role, we could click the Uberscript session name and understand and see all of these details. Many customers use Detective to triage and investigate guard duty findings. For instance, if I wanted to investigate this pen test finding, I could select it in the guard duty console, go to the Actions Investigate option, and that would open up Amazon Detective with all the details of the finding and the related resources. The AWS Security Hub console also has an integration with the Detective console for guard duty findings. If I wanted to look at this finding in the Detective console, I could expand it, click the Investigate in Amazon Detective Investigate Finding option, and that would open up the details of the finding in Detective. This is Detective's profile page for the malicious IP caller guard duty finding that we were just looking at in Security Hub. This finding is created by guard duty when an EC2 instance communicates with an IP address that's on a custom threat list. I want to point out a few quick things. Detective defaults the scope time for finding profile pages to the first time the finding was created through the last time it was updated and shows you details for this entire time range on the finding profile page. You can definitely increase that time if you wanted to. You can archive findings in Detective, and doing so will also archive the finding in Guard Duty. The first panel on the finding profile pages will provide you with high level information about the finding, as well as links to the resources that are associated with the finding. So, in this case, Detective is providing links to the account and to the EC2 instance, and these links will take you to the detailed profile pages for those resources. The Involved Infrastructure panel gives you information about the network infrastructure, and the Findings panel shows you what other findings the EC2 instance was associated with during the scope time window. Now the Overall VPC Flow Volume panel shows us the traffic that was received and sent by this instance. We are able to see the shape of the traffic and a baseline of the average traffic for this instance. The black rectangular box represents the scope time window, but Detective also gives us a peek into the traffic pattern before the scope time so that we can see how the instance was being used prior to the finding occurring. Detective can also show us a breakdown of the EC2 instance's communication activity. You can view this information on multiple profile pages, including findings that are tied to EC2 instances 
or on the EC2 instance profile pages themselves. As you saw, Detective retrieved these 11 days of information really fast. Uh, what Detective shows you is this table containing a list of all the IP addresses, the local and remote ports, the aggregate amount of traffic that was sent or received, the protocol that was used, the directionality, as well as whether the traffic was accepted or rejected by the instance. We also annotate different information regarding the IP addresses. If you wanted to, you could restrict the time frame that you pull data back for. Uh, in this case, by default, we retrieve data for the entire scope time window. Detective also has capabilities to filter the traffic. So if we only wanted to look at traffic for remote port 443, we could easily do that. And we could basically combine multiple conditions together. Or if you wanted to just sort this traffic and look at which IP address had received the most amount of data from this instance, you could easily do that as well. And again, we are doing that across a large data set. Detective also has some graphing capabilities so that if you wanted to select a couple of these IP addresses, it would plot them on top of the aggregate amount of traffic flowing in and out of that instance, or you could remove those details and just look at a chart of the IP addresses if you wanted to. Let's take a quick look at the IP address that was involved in the finding. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove my filter, sort this, and uh, Detective marks the IP addresses that are involved in the finding with these annotations. I'm going, gonna go ahead and click on the IP, and that brings up the IP addresses profile page along with the same scope time that was there for the finding. The overview tab has a few different panels. The first panel shows us some details regarding how frequently the IP address has been observed, uh, when it was first and last observed across our accounts, how many users and roles have utilized this IP address, as well as how many distinct user agents have used it. We also highlight all the findings that, that are tied to this IP address within the scope time window, as well as what API calls have been initiated from this IP address. In this case, for our scope time window, there aren't any uh, API calls that have been invoked. We can broaden the scope time to look at a larger range. So let's say I was to change this to August 1st and update it. You know, and now Detective is showing us more findings. And it's also showing us that they were a set of failed calls that came from this IP address. We are also able to see those EC2 instances that had this IP address assigned to them. The new behavior tab highlights behavior that is seen from this IP address, which hadn't been seen before. So in this case, during that scope time window, these four API calls were observed from this IP address, and this IP address hadn't made these before. The resource interaction panel lists all the users and roles that have interacted with the IP address during the scope time window, and the EC2 instances communicating with this IP address panel lists out all the EC2s that were observed communicating with this IP address. The resource interaction tab highlights a lot of great information and many customers find a lot of value in increasing the scope time window here to see who else might have communicated with this IP address. It's a great way to scope out the size of your investigation and understand the set of resources that may have uh, been in touch with an IP. I would also like to demonstrate a guard duty finding that is based upon a user resource. So in this case, we'll take a quick look at this CloudTrail logging disabled finding that guard duty triggers when a user disables CloudTrail logging. In this case, detective shows us four tabs. There's an overview for the user and the account, as well as a tab which shows us the new behavior for this user and new behavior for the account during the scope time window. Just like the last finding we looked at, the first panel here on the overview tab highlights some of the details of the finding. The second panel lists details of the user that was involved in the finding. We also highlight who created this user, when the user was created, and when the user was last observed, because that might be pertinent to your investigation. We show you a list of all the findings where this user was observed. And then we show you the API calls that the user made along with a baseline of what their normal usage pattern is. Again, the rectangular box represents the scope time window. And in this case, we can see that the API activity of this user really be began around the same time when this finding was triggered. These failed API calls look interesting and we can quickly examine those. And when we click on that, Detective shows us the IP addresses, the APIs and the access keys which were utilized. And one of the interesting things to do here is just look at the API calls sort them by the failed API calls, and we can quickly see that you know the get user, delete trail, and create bucket calls failed. All three of these requests came from the same IP address, uh, and we can also see the ACIDs that are utilized. If we wanted to, we could filter these API calls either by an API method or by the IP address. 
and Detective makes that pretty easy to do. The New Behavior tab, on the other hand, highlights information about how this user's interactions have changed with the environment. So the first thing you see here is the geolocations that are newly observed for this user. Uh, and the circles in red indicate basically newly observed geos and circles in blue indicate uh, previously observed geolocations. In this case, we only have the new. We can definitely click on this to understand some of the activity which came from that location and uh, Detective shows us the roles as well as the users. This was the user that was affected. Detective also highlights which call succeeded and failed. The newly observed tab also highlights the API calls which were new to this user within the scope time window and we hadn't seen the user doing those before. API calls where there's an increase in volume new ASOs that have been observed, as well as newly observed user agents. Now, one of the things that is interesting for many customers is to compare this user's new behavior to the behavior of the across the entire account. So by clicking on this tab, you can very quickly see that typically for this account, the access comes in from these locations in the US and, and in Ireland, whereas this, uh, this location is really new to the entire account as a whole. Some of the other uh, capabilities that I showed you in the newly observed tab for the user are also present and uh, available uh, to see across the entire account. The overview tab for the AWS account shows us all the findings across the entire account within that scope time window. It also highlights all the API calls, both successful and failed, uh, that have happened across the account. And we can expand this and uh, look at the details just like we did for the user over here. One thing I should point out is that for a lot of the findings, what Detective does is it brings together this information from the different resources that are involved in the finding. You can definitely go and see the overviews and the new behaviors, the resource interactions for each of these resources by directly going to the profile pages for the resources involved. So I could um, click on this AWS account link and pull up the profile page for that account. Now the profile page is scoped to that link that we came from by default, but we can definitely change this up and look at the last year of data. The profile page for the account is very similar to what we saw on the finding profile page. So in this case, we have the overview and the new behavior tab. We are showing you a list of all the findings. We also have the entire API volume here. Uh, you know, you, and you can definitely drill down into these details, or if you wanted to, you could go to the new behavior tab and look at those details. So in this manner, uh, a lot of that information which we condense and show on the finding profiles is available on the individual resource profile pages, and you can get to those either through the links or the search interface uh, in order to access that information. I hope you found this demo to be useful. If you're interested in learning more about using Amazon Detective to accelerate your security investigations, please visit aws.amazon.com detective.